Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 1626 that says best team with no conflicts. So here we are given a basketball team with their score uh, scores and the ages and uh, there is one tournament of the basketball so manager has to form a team from this n players and uh, all these n players has their uh, unique uh, age and their unique score. <coughs> uh, now a conflict arise when a younger player has strictly higher score than the older player so uh, let's say if uh, there is one player whose age is let's say 5 and he, his score is 10 and there is another player whose age is 7 uh, and his score is 8 so the uh, person with age 7 has a score less than per, uh, the younger player that is the player with the age 5 so if that is the condition then that is known as conflict and it, in order to form a team you must not have any conflict okay so yeah, uh, here the scores and ages are, uh, are given with of the 8th player and uh, after forming a team, we need to return highest overall score, score possible for the basketball teams. And the, uh, and the only thing you need to note that conflict must not occur between the player okay, in the team. Also one thing to note here is if there is a same age, means two person is same age, then regardless of their score, the conflict is not counted. The conflict is only counted if a younger player has strictly higher score than the older player in a team and yeah we need to form a team in such a way that uh, there is no such conflict and secondly it has the maximum possible score right okay so now let's take a look at the test cases given so yeah here we have scores added 1 3 5 10 15 and ages 1 2 3 4 5 and the answer is 34 see um, let's uh, let's start from the end that is from the oldest player so the oldest player is uh, with age 5 and now uh, score 15 you can include that yeah it is the first first player you can include that then the second player four thus four has scored less than the older player if it is yeah then we can include then 15 plus 10 the total score down now is 25 then can we include the player three uh, with age three and score five yeah so here the score is th uh, 13 can you include player two with a score three yes now the sc our total score is 33 and adding this is 34 so that this is how a 34 is formed okay now let's take a look at this example so uh, initially let's start again first with the oldest player let's say 2 is the, here this player 2 with h2 is the oldest player yeah right and with the score 6 so can uh, so now let's say the current uh, so uh, let me try to trace this so you will get more understanding here okay, so this is the situation uh, now let's say initially we uh, let's say uh, age let me take this age score and current so the current represents the current score let's say we took an uh, uh, took a player with age six and a sorry age two and a score six so our current answer is six there is one another player with a age two so with a score four so our total answer is six plus four ten then there is a player with age one with a score five can we include no there is another player with the age one and score five can we include no because the previous element or the older element with the age two has a score four so we can't take a younger player with a greater score right now this is one scenario the another possible scenario is you take a player with the age two score six the current answer is six you don't now you don't took this player with a score four then you directly jump to a player with the age one and a score five so current answer is 11 now again you can take the player with age 1 and score 5 because the both ages are same so the conflict doesn't arise right now the answer is 16 so is 16 greater than 10 yeah 16 is a better answer so we have choices the either to take a player or not to take a player right and based on the choices we took the player with the best choice and form our answer right now let's take a look at the last example so here uh, let me also take this and okay so these are the score and the ages given let me let this uh, let a be the ages s be the score current be the current answer right so initially we will start from the older people okay let's say we took uh, uh, the this person with age 10 age is 10 and his score is 3 let's say we took that so our answer becomes 3 then we took the uh, then we saw the person with the age 9 age 9 score is 2 we can take it so our answer is uh, 5 then let's say uh, age 8 
स्कोर वन और आंसर इज सिक्स नाउ द एज वन एज वन एंड स्कोर इज फाइव कैन यू टेक नो सो अवर मैक्सिम पॉसिबल आंसर हियर इज सिक्स लेट्स टेक अ डिफरेंस इन एडियो सीन एज यू हैव सीन हियर दैट इफ यू टूक पर्सन विथ एज नाइन एज एंड देन यू विल नेवर बी एबल टू टेक पर्सन विथ एज वन पर लेट्स यू टूक अ पर्सन विथ एज वन एंड अ स्कोर ऑफ फाइव सो अवर आंसर इज फाइव नाउ विल यू बी एबल टू टेक एनी अदर पर्सन नो बिकॉज पर्सन विथ एज एट नाइन टेन हैज स्कोर लेस दैन फाइव सो यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू इंक्लूड इट सो वन पॉसिबल आंसर सो इज फाइव राइट सो वॉट इज बेटर सिक्स इज बेटर या सो वी रिटर्न सिक्स सो आई होप यू गैस हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट दिस क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट मेकिंग अ चॉइस a choice whether to include this player in a team or not to include and whenever there is a choice you can um, uh, you can build a decision tree diagram right and based on the decision tree diagram uh, you will get the uh, all the possible answer and you will and in the end you will select the best possible answer and return it uh, in the function right so if you want to take a look of how decision tree will form so i will try to draw decision tree for this example so before decision tree what we can do see this course and ages are related right related to the ith person so can we form one vector of uh, int int where first int will represent the age second int will represent score so this is what a pair of vector so can we form that why why we need to form this so that uh, we can get rid of score and ages two vectors instead we can use only one vector right second thing every time what i am doing what i was telling you to sort based on the age uh to start from the older people and so that means what let me sort based on age see we will get, go through this afterwards uh, in this video but let let us first discuss how the how the decision tree diagram will form so if let me make one vector v uh, so with pairs let's say uh, age is 8 8,1 9,2 10,3 and 1,5 Okay, so this is now our vector. So uh, we have choices. Either let's say we will first talk about this. So we have choices. What type of choices? Include this or exclude this. So let's say you included. So our current uh, answer, our cover current team has this player with a age and a score one. If we don't include this, then our current team is empty. Now let's think of this nine comma two. We have two choices. Either to include this or exclude this. So if you include this, so whenever you are including a player, you need to check if it is an older player. Then the previous player or not? Yes, and if it is older player, then any score can be valid, right? Older player can have any score. Younger players should have only less score, right? So, so our current team is eight comma one, nine comma two. This is our uh, current team. Uh, if we included nine uh, comma two, if we don't include, then the current team will only be have eight comma one. That is one player. If you ex, uh, so in this case also here there would be two choices: include or exclude. So if we include this. Uh, then we have only one player, nine comma two. Exclude this. We have MTA. Now let let's talk about this third player. So for the third player also, you have to include, exclude, include, exclude, include, exclude, and same. Include, exclude, and for the fourth player also, you would be having the same. So after forming all the complete decision tree, uh, you will get uh, this type of decision tree once. Very once you take these three players. You will get this type of decision tree where you take only one player. You will get this type of decision tree where you take these two players. So all different types of possibilities will will be formed once you form this decision tree. Uh, and uh, I suggest you guys that if you have uh, difficulty in understanding recursion, then try to make this decision tree by yourself. Try to generate this by yourself. See, I am leaving here for your understanding, right? I hope you understood that how uh, the different decision, different choices will be added in the teams, and all the possible combinations of the team will be formed here. Now it's up to uh, you that you can. Uh, if you have uh, not understood yet uh, how this decision tree is formed, try to form the complete decision tree. Try try to go up this the last element and form this whole big, big decision tree, right? Okay. Now uh, the second thing uh, we I want to discuss here is this by sorting. See uh, here in the decision tree. Let's say you have included this element, uh, so we have eight comma one and nine comma two. Uh, here uh, and also you have included this ten comma three, so ten comma three. So let's say this is a, a team team vector, right? Now, if you want to include the last element, then what you need to do? You need to traverse for all the element. Let's say check for this age and this score, this age and this score, this person age and score, and compare with this. If you want to add the last element to the team, last member to the team. So instead of comparing with each element of the current team, what we can do? We can sort by age. 
uh, let's say we sorted by age in decreasing. So there is no point of checking the age, right? No need to check age. The only thing remaining is what? Check score. So that we, so here what we can do, we can maintain one, uh, this I length, I index and J index. So I index will point to current team and J will in, uh, index will point to previous member of the team. So if what we can do, we just have to compare the ith person with the j person score only score because ages are sorted, right? So once the ages are sorted, we only need to check the score, right? Uh, and uh, what, uh, and and for the approach part, what we can do, we can do recursion as you have seen that this is a decision tree. Then a recursion uh, plus memoization is the best approach. So yeah, that's the recursion plus memory session that would be the approach. Along with that, we would also sort the ages and we would form this vector pair of vector so that there is no need to take um, these two vectors in our recursion function. And we will uh, use two indexes i and j where i will point to the current, mem um, current member and j will point to the previous member of the team. So yeah, now let's move on to the coding part. So yes, let me take one n as the size of the score adder. That is the number of uh, team members. Now let me form one vector of pair of int int. Let me name it as group. Now for all the members given, that means from i is equal to zero to up till n, we will do group dot push back. In the first we will uh, store the ages of i, and in the second we will score that score scores of i then what we will do we would sort sort this group based on their ages and group dot end and the thing to note here is we would sort in descending order right so the oldest people will come first so that is r begin and r end sorting in descending order for memorization we will take one uh, dp of size uh, see the maximum size is thousand or thousand uh, this age is dot length so let me take it somewhere around 1002 1002 okay let uh we will use name set function to store minus one for all the dp cells and now what we will do we will simply uh call this solve function where we would pass this group the ith index and the jth index so initially the jth index is minus one that means no element or sorry no member are present in the current team right Now let's code for the solve function. Let me take it as n person group g for group int i and int j. So if uh, the base condition starting right, if i is greater than equal to g dot size, then we would simply return zero. Now if what is the thing? If j equal equal to minus one, that means for the first there is no player included. So if there is no player included, that is this situation, no player included, then we have two choices, either to include one player or not to include. So yeah, we would uh, write a code for that. Return dp of i plus one and j plus one. Uh, I will explain you this y plus one here. So before that, let me write, complete this line. Group of uh, i dot second plus solve. And it is g, g. Uh, i plus one and i don't worry guys i will explain you this line of code once i complete it g i plus one j okay see uh, we have two choices either include the first element right and the solve for all the other elements or if we don't include this then uh, directly go for the next element right this is the same thing take take the first element and solve the remain for the remaining element or don't include the first element and try to uh, and try for the second element right yeah so these two are the choices here and uh, you might be wondering why i took j plus one see i took the size 1002 that because i the initially j index is minus one so i am storing for all the pair of i and j by shifting uh, it in uh, it index by one in dp so that because as you know the minus one we can't store something anything like dp of i and minus one because there is invalid syntax so just to uh, uh, have a safer side. I just do dp of uh, j plus one and i plus one. Okay, got it. So, because we can't store dp of uh, j when j is minus one. This is one thing, right? Now let's say if uh, j 
see now the second thing is if dp of i plus 1 and j plus 1 is not equal to minus 1 then in that case this is uh, the memoize function is the memoize method uh, where we will simply return the answer that we have stored it earlier okay now from here we have two options option 1 that me initial is minus 1 and option 2 okay the first option is what for uh, let's uh, once you have included one element then also afterwards you have one option option to include the second element and the exclude second element right so uh, now trying for the first option let's say if the so first thing is j is not equal to minus 1 okay that means we have one element at least one element in the team and now what we would check we would check if g of i dot second if it is greater than g of j dot second and then g of i dot first equal equal to g of j dot first that means see first means the ages okay the ages are same then irrespective of their score means if it is greater or less then we can do anything config don't arise so even if this uh, score is greater uh, see uh, for the i th element uh, as compared to j th element see uh, here what the simple thing is i is current and j is previous member so if the current member has a score greater than the previous member and the ages are same then there is no conflict okay this is one thing right or or if there is a situation like this then g of i dot second is less than equal to g of j dot second mm -hmm. that means uh, the i there is the current uh, player has a score less than equal to the previous see there is always the ages are sorted in descending order so the current player will be younger or, or of the same age as the previous player so, and a younger player should not have greater than score greater score right it, it can be less than equal to so this is one thing where we can take that element take that member so in that option one we will uh, take this member so what we would do we would add the score plus we would sort for other members g i plus one and i so whenever we took this and uh, took a member we pass i uh, instead of uh, i is the previous member it becomes the previous member right now in the option two we have only one thing that is solved g i plus one and g that is look for another player and keep j as the previous player right and here what we would do we would simply return maximum of option one comma option two and before returning we would store in dp of i plus one j plus one right we store it okay everything seems good here so i hope you guys understood this code as well oh s c o r e s and as well as the intuition and the approach behind this so the test cases are passed now let me try to submit this okay yes our code got accepted now talking about the time and space complexity uh see uh, this is a recursion plus memorization code so if you have not done a memorization here then uh, it would be 2 to the power n because there are two changing variables but since there is a memorization the number of possible states are n square the number of possible values of i is n number of possible values of j is n so it's n square so if you and also sorting is n log n that is less than n square so the overall time complexity is n square and regarding the space complexity it is also n square as you can see here we are taking a uh, dp of n into n size so yeah both the time and space complexity are big o of n square and yes that's all for this video uh, if you have still any doubts then let me know in the comment section uh, and also uh, do check the community section where i am posting all the uh, job opportunities that are coming daily in the market so yeah that's all for this video make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you